Shabbat Shalom, everybody. This week's parasha is parasha Tzav, and the idea that I want to share with you all that connects to the parasha is from my father. Um, on the surface, parasha Tzav seems like it can very easily go in line with a widely accepted idea that in order to have a relationship with Akdosh Baruch Hu, all we need to do is just add more mitzvot in our lives, add uh, more points, and, and just rack up the mitzvot and what can be seen as a uh, mechanical act in our relationship with Akdosh Baruch Hu. And because, meaning because the parasha has so many details in it and it's all about the, the complexities of the korbanot and all the different aspects of the korbanot and it's very detailed, it could seem like it would fall in line with that belief and that all oh, Akdosh Baruch Hu really cares about that we uh, do these mitzvot and he doesn't care necessarily about the person behind it the intent behind it, the heart behind it, and it would just be just a mechanical, uh, detail-oriented act. But the Haftarah of this week's parasha um, definitely clears this up for us and shows us that really it's it's about the heart behind the uh, action and it's about the relationship that the action is uh, being done within and the context of the mitzvah. So we see in our uh, this week's Haftarah, um, it's in Sefer Yirmiyah, Right, Perek Zayin. I'm going to start reading from Pasuk Chafal, which is the beginning of the Haftarah. The Haftarah says, "Ko Amar Adonai Tzevaot Elohei Israel, Or Otechem Sefu Al Zivchechem Veichlu Basar, Ki Lo Dibarti Et Avotechem Velo Sivitim Beyom Hoziyeh Otam Meeres Mitzrayim Al Divrei Olav Vazavah. Ki Im Et Adavar Aze Siviti Otam Lemor Shimau Bekoli VeHayiti Lachem Lelohim VeAtem Ti Yuli Leam VeHalachtem VeChol Aderech Asher Asavetchem LeMani Tav Lachem." Hadosh Baruch Hu is saying here pretty much that. When I was taking your forefathers out of Egypt, when I was taking your uh, nation, right, the Bnei Israel out of Egypt, I wasn't commanding them on sacrifices. I wasn't telling them to bring korbanot, even though we see in the Torah that pretty much the whole Sefer Vayikra is about korbanot. What he says is, my point was, right, what I commanded them is to listen to my words and that I will be your God and you will be my nation, right? You will be my people. Also, in the even in the preamble to the Aser de Berot in, in Matan Torah, Hadosh Baruch Hu uh, introduces the entire thing, and make sure, making sure that Moshe gives out this whole preamble that that we will be the nation and Hadosh Baruch Hu will be our God, and really uh, emphasizes the aspect of the relationship, right? Even in uh, Yeshaya, in the first pedic of Yeshaya, there's a line. Well, the whole pedic is in that theme, but there's a line that says, "Mi uh, remos Who asked for you to trample my courtyards? One would think. You asked us, you asked us, the whole Sefer Vayikra is to bring korbanot and to uh, do all these things. And what Abdul Baruch Hu is making sure that we know, and he's emphasizing the fact that no, it's not about the details and the mechanical actions that I want primarily. Obviously those are important, and those are what are made so important by the context of the relationship, meaning... We, we say all the time, Akadosh Baruch Hu wants our hearts, right? It's, it doesn't matter if you do little, if you do a lot. The whole point, Akadosh right? Baruch Hu just wants us to have the right intent and be in the right context of relationship. And in that context, when you really care about the details and you really care about the mitzvot as the entire Sefer Vayikra, especially Parashat Sav, teaches us all the details of the mitzvot, those details become so much more loved and so much more important and that really brings the importance and the beauty to our mitzvot when they're done in that context. So I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom, and I hope we can all bring this lesson into our lives and really strive to see the mitzvot in their right context and in our relationship with Akdosh Baruch Hu.